Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. The best handgun that nobody cares about. I fully understand that whenever we say the best, it's a subjective opinion, and I acknowledge that. But I cannot understand, for the life of me, what is in this case very few people seem to care much about. Maybe it's just me, but I never see it out. I never hear anybody talking about it. And it's from a very popular company, actually the oldest firearm manufacturer ever, called Beretta. And I had some trigger time behind it because when I went to the range day, the Beretta range day on the Sunday before SHOT Show, I shot rifles, shotguns, handguns. I walked away. I said, I have to get this handgun. I loved it. It shot incredibly well. So what are we talking about? This here is the Beretta 92XI Squalo. Nobody seems to know much about it. Nobody seems to care. It's a phenomenal handgun. I want to share with you why I think this is the best that nobody cares about. And I will say before I put this case off screen that it ships with three 22 round magazines. And it has base plates there in case you want to shorten the length of the mag, whatever. Anyhow, the squat, the 92XI Squall is a single action handgun that was explained to me by a Beretta rep that this is their answer to the 2011. It's not a 1911. They don't make 1911s, but they, they said this is the answer to the 2011. Now, people love the 92 series. This is part of the Beretta 92 series. It has the barrel exposed, the uh, top strap cut off there. Well, I don't know if it's cut off, but anyways, it's got this very neat color to it. Looks like a shark. These G10 grips made by Hogue kind of gives the impression of a shark and that is where they came up with the name squalo squalo means shark in italian but they said this is our version of the 2011 we've got 22 round mags it's single action only hence the xi and the 11 2011 92 11 get it i don't even know if i get it but but that's what they told me now if you look at this handgun I think it's gorgeous, but more than that, I love the way it's shot. It was incredibly accurate, very smooth, offers a ton, and it's under $1,500. Actually, the MSRP is $1,329. You can pick them up for in the mid-$1,200s. And why is this grip so funky looking? Well, it, it it's, has this shape and very textured, by the way, in this color scheme because... When this is combined with the color of the slide, a little darker than a tungsten gray, they said that looks like a shark. And this is an Italian company. And how do you say shark in Italian? Squalo. This is a Breda 92XI Squalo. Single action only. Let's check out the trigger. It's got a single action trigger. It breaks right around three and a half pounds. And... Right there is the reset. It is so smooth. 4.7 inch barrel and Langdon Tactical works on these. And they say we could bring that height of the optic even lower because it is optic ready. If you know anything about the way Breda does optics, you, you unscrew both of these bolts, you pull that black piece out on both sides. They have a plate that fits in there put the bolts back in and it's a nice sturdy fit so once it's optic ready well it is optic ready once an optic is installed then you sight that thing in and it's awesome if you just go with serrated black fiber optic you're also good to go but you know no double action single action only and it is phenomenal now it has this takedown lever that also serves as a gas pedal see the way that comes out like that, you rest your thumb there. It has a very extended magazine release that is adjustable. It's got a little notch in there to put a wrench. You can adjust it however you want, and a flared magwell. 
for the price they're asking, which is a lot, by the way. I fully understand that, and maybe that's why few people care about it. But there are other handguns out there that are way more expensive. For example, Staccato. Every time Staccato puts out a new gun, you would think they were reinventing the Browning High Power back in the day. It was like the biggest thing going, which is, in some cases, twice as much as what Brett is asking for this. I love it. I think it looks cool. I shot it. I shot incredibly well. Why don't I own one yet? Well, that's forthcoming. <laughs> that part I will tell you. That is forthcoming. I plan to own it. I love the disassemble. It's got the Extreme S trigger, by the way, and the Vertex style grip, which is a little more vertical. <clears throat> but you disassemble this just by pushing that down and off comes the slide. This is an uncaptured recoil spring and the... 4.7 inch barrel if I can get that out of there the if you know anything about the 92 series Sometimes these things stick in there, but there it is Awesome, just awesome. I, I love the way this thing fires and I'm telling you guys Don't be surprised one day when I say hey check out my new handgun And it's the breaded 92 XI squalo with an uncaptured recoil spring you want to guide it in there guide the guide rod okay and what do we got here all right this should do it there we go and then move it back to this position and well i have to take this lever right there and flip it up love this handgun i think it's awesome and i really do believe it is the best nine millimeter handgun that Nobody cares about why don't you care about it? I don't know, but I do, and I can't wait to get my own to put an optic on there and show you what it can do and why I think the way I do. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.